as the roll on and can't forget it. So that's why I've got this out because I've, I've packed everything but the other roll on too. So Gil, do you take it? Uh, tell us a little bit how you how yeah, you what's your what's your regimen? Um, I take it at night with my nightly vitamins. So I take it before I go to sleep. So what if you, you know, you just was, were you calmer? Did you just kind of like relax better? I've always had a hard time falling asleep. Uh, when I was a little younger, it used to take 90 minutes to two hours. Wow. I could wow. Fall asleep. That's a long yeah. time. Yeah. It, it hasn't been that bad the last 10 years or so. Mm -hmm. But still, um, I would climb in bed, try to go to sleep, and I would toss and turn and toss and turn. Mm -hmm. And after taking this, um, the Serenity and the Adaptive, um, I fall asleep very quickly. And oh. I, I sleep more sound, I believe. Yeah. Awesome. That is so awesome. cool. That is, that is wonderful. That is amazing. Really, it just... You know, these oils never cease to amaze me. Oh, I guess too, the, the, how much how much empowerment, personal empowerment I feel like I have and so much more peace of mind. You know, sometimes I look at all the different kinds of things. I'm like, man, I'm, I'm OCD for sure. But then I start utilizing them and I'm like, no, there's no, nothing compulsive about this. This is just remarkable, remarkable gifts of the earth just fantastic wow what a what a, okay. yeah what, what a blessing for your life yes do you have time for one more story oh please. Yes, yes please please, please. Or more, yeah. or whatever whatever you want to share we got, yeah. we got plenty of time <laughs> yeah this is not about sleep um i am a marathon runner for those watching that don't know me and um i learned many many years ago i've, I've been doing marathons my first one was in 1983 so um, 35 years or so or more of running marathons. And I learned early on that when you run a marathon, you don't want toenails, long toenails, because they can dig into your toe, the, the neighboring toe, and huh. cause blisters and sores and everything. So yeah. I've gotten in a in a pattern of three or four days before a marathon. I will just whack my toenails to nothing. Um, a couple of times that I've done this, um, especially getting the, the big toe whacked down, I don't know why, but for some reason it had unleashed some kind of infection in the big toe. Hmm. And one year I, was in horrible pain. Every step was just painful the whole marathon. I gutted it out and still did it, but it was very painful. Then about three years ago, I had the same experience where I clipped my toenails and I got an infection in my big toe. And I was afraid I was in for that same, same thing. I took oregano and mm -hmm. I just, just the oil, I, I didn't have a roll on at the time, but I did an oil and just put two or three drops right on my toenail morning and night. And in two days, it was gone. Wow. The infection was totally gone. And wow. Wow. there's no way before with, would it have been gone that quick. So the oregano just, saved my bacon and and I was able to run without any pain whatsoever that time. Wow. So wow. I'm a huge believer in oregano killing infections. That is That's that awesome. Is so amazing. That's awesome. <laughs> so wow. Amazing. Thank you for sharing that. It's so neat to hear and get and be reminded because uh, you know we have all these great things but we, we just like, oh yeah, I, I, I need to remember that one, right? That's great. Thank you. Fantastic. How about you, Stacy? Do you want to share? Sure. Awesome. Um, I, 
I don't know where to start <laughs> or what to share. I think um, it's all night. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's just I think I go on a day to day basis. How am I feeling that day? What are my needs? I tend to have chronic sinus infections, so sometimes I'll use just even Meluca, just breathing that in, mm -hmm. because oftentimes sinus infections are um, mold or mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. fungus related. And so melaleuca helps with the fungus and stuff. So I kind of rub the melaleuca and I have also had like an eye infection, just a little bit of, you know, thick drainage from my eye. And so rubbing it around the orbital area, just the melaleuca as well will often help to dispel like an eye infection. Yeah. And then also with the melaleuca is I've been having ear infections lately. And so I've been putting just a couple of drops of that and just resting it on a little small part of a cotton ball and just rest it right in the ear and that's helped with that so um that's been a great way to stave off just some of this stuff going on <laughs> wow. with infections wow yeah that's awesome. um but also i think i try to take the on guard capsules on a daily basis because going into the hospitals and i'm often working in the covid sections and i need i need to have a little bit of a defense for myself in order to protect myself against getting anything. So in combination with some other supplements and some antiviral tinctures and the on guard um, capsules, as well as putting on guard on my feet, I feel like that's really helped um, provide some protection for me from getting ill. Awesome. Yeah. Keeping your body uh, super immune, immunized. Yeah, yeah. Uh, recently with um, just residual, um, well, from a knee injury, yeah. it's been affecting my hips. So I've had a lot of pain in my hip. And so I've um, been rubbing frankincense and helichrysum on my hip to kind of help the ligaments and, and everything there to heal um, and feel a little bit better as well as deep blue from time to time on that. So... Awesome. I don't know. I love the balance, you know, just on the feet at, during, at night as well. Um, and I've had difficulty sleeping too. So I love the reminder of um, the adaptive because I haven't been using that as much. I've been using the roll on, but not the capsules. So I need to use those capsules, but I have been using the serenity more at night lately. And that's really been helpful too. So I don't know. There's, there's just so much, it just depends on a daily basis. What are my needs? How am I feeling? And, and what do I need to combat what's going on that day? So if you, if you want to wind back now, now how many years have you been using doTERRA essential oils? You're like, uh, like part of the founder group. I mean, you're way. <laughs> well, I wish I was making what that founder group is making <laughs> and have the rank that they are ranked at. But, but yeah, I started really early on in the company. It was just pretty much brand new when I joined so and and when at the time were you just were you skeptical or were you like this sounds really interesting or did you like oh no my tinctures are enough or you know how, how did you respond to that um I don't think I was really into herbs at that time so I first got into essential oils and I was never skeptical about it I just always felt good and right and I love the smells and they just spoke to me. So I've never been skeptical about essential oils. I've just always loved them. So um, I think that's kind of where I started and then kind of branched off from there with other types of, of healing remedies. And you learned a lot of other things besides. Uh, yep. That's interesting. Very cool. mm -hmm. I know, I've known a lot of people who start with herbs and then they end up in oils. <clears throat> But I haven't heard of a lot of people that start with oils and then branch out. <laughs> I just figure if there is anything out there that has natural healing capabilities, I want to learn about it, you know, and if that can help me take care of any issues that my family or I may need in any form, whatever it looks like for that day or for that situation, then bring it on. Wow. Wow. See <laughs> yeah, so what was one of the, what was one of the biggest, maybe not biggest surprises, but, but like most delightful surprises for you uh, that you discovered in, in using oils and, uh, and natural healing kinds of 
products. Was there something that was like an aha or? Hmm. An aha? Just, I think that was kind of my first exposure to the aha of it doesn't have to come in a pill form. Wow. It doesn't have to come from a drugstore. There's, these are gifts from God that are in a whole plant source that have been given to us to be able to heal the body. And if we're willing to look at those and use those appropriately, we can receive a lot of benefit in ways without side effects that, you know, Western medicine medication really has. And that was just kind of the aha of opening my eyes up to, oh my goodness, there's this whole new world out there for me to explore where I can take my own health into my own hands and to use to treat me and my family to help with some of these day-to-day -day issues, you know, to help us have a greater health and wellness without having to go to a doctor or without having to take medications that, you know, may ultimately really not benefit me in the long term, you know. Yeah. And, so, and, yeah. and as oh, a nurse, yeah. you you came at being a nurse after you started using essential oils. Um, wow, what year was it that, yeah, I was using essential oils before I went to nursing school. Yes, yeah, that, and that, that's also really interesting. I'm one of those crazy nurses who would really love to turn on a diffuser in my patient's room. <laughs> and we're not allowed to do that. And all the other nurses are talking about these crazy patients who bring in their doTERRA essential oils. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's a really good idea. You know, and they're all, those, they're all smart kind of, yeah, they're one. those people. And I'm like, well, I kind of am too, you know. <laughs> yeah, you, you really are, you know, and yeah. it's, it's great. It's so good. It's so good to have the power, you know, the power to take care of ourselves. If we read back through history at all, we find, you know, people used to go to people that were using oils and herbs and say, help me, right? And instead of, and, and at the time we didn't know exactly what was going on but now we can kind of say oh okay this is really what's happening in the body so it helps us so we can really utilize them in ways that are going to be powerful awesome yeah, they're amazing they're my first go-to really <clears throat> so it's, it's kind of fun to go to my little chest of essential oils. okay what do i need today you know <laughs> <laughs> What, what does my body need? What a, you know, what's it calling for today? So anyway, I absolutely love them. I wouldn't live without them. So yeah. Yeah. If, if, if you, it's the, the question of if you were stranded on an island, what would you take with you? And I'm like the whole company, you know, <laughs> <laughs> just everybody. A big bag of oils. Can you fit in your, <laughs> <laughs> I have a hard time traveling anymore. That's the biggest problem is what else don't I take with me? <laughs> Am I going to need that? Well, I might. Anyway, you never know what you will need. Yeah, I know. that I you you know like this one. I was thinking about Mark. He hurt his knee, and and I'm like, you've got to take Correctex with you. But I forgot about that until right now. Hmm. <laughs> but um, I'm going to show you this. You won't be able to see anything, and that's on purpose. So, um. I don't know if it's just something, you know, that's embedded in my mind, but every Thanksgiving I, I do a major thing to my thumb. Like uh, I, I bleed it, <laughs> I cut it. And I did this year, I did, I, I cut it. And I'm like, oh no, 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 no. I <laughs> did that already last year and whatever. And so Jacob was in the room and he said, mom, grab has some helichrysum. Because, you know, when it happens to you, a lot of times, at least when it happens to me, I'm like, oh, oh, what do I do? But he was right on it. He grabs the little chrism. I stick it on it. First of all, the whole thing stops bleeding and you won't see anything going on. And it heals me so fast. It's amazing. I, I just, I don't even know how that happens. I mean, I don't know if everybody heals that fast, but I know that we had a Thanksgiving dinner on Sunday and it's Thursday and you can't see anything wrong and there's no pain. It's, you know, it's just gone. 
I remember you had a cut on your toe a long time ago, years ago, and you put helichrysum on it and it really helped. Yeah. So yeah, we've used that for bleeds for a long time. I have, and I've, I've done major cuts and ones that need butterfly bandages or stitches. And I'll just use the, the, the helichrysum. And for me, it heals so fast and it's strange. It doesn't heal the same way. It's like it almost pushes the wound out and then it heals the um, nerve endings. So I don't seem to have any nerve damage either. I have complete reuse of that area instead of having some kind of a weird scar that sometimes forms underneath the skin. It's all, it's like it's gone. It's very interesting. I'm like, wow, there's something major wonderful about that. But I mean, I can't explain it except that it's so much more effective than anything else I've ever used. I had a really interesting conversation today. I was calling some of some of the people in our group and talked to a lady who uh, said, "Oh yeah, I, I really love the oils, uh, some of the oils." But she said, "I think I think a lot of the, the DoTerra oils are like overpriced." <laughs> and so I, I we the conversation got shut got cut short. I didn't have a chance to really get into it with her, but it it took me back. It reminded me of. Well, if, uh, first of all, the conversation that we always have of the reason doTERRA oils are so superior and, and, and that makes them a little more expensive sometimes than other oils is because of the purity and the, the, the quality of the oil. And it reminded me of a conversation I had. This was about a year before the CPTG came out. And I was at a doctor's appointment actually and I was talking to the doctor about another another issue, um, and we and, and at the time I was I was um, uh, using uh, Saint John's Wort, and um, so he was like making notes about well you're you're you know got we got these medications and then we got you're taking these these um, natural things and you know and he he was just like you know getting all the information and. And so I started talking to him about uh, natural uh, uh, herbs and natural remedies and that kind of thing. And he said, well, actually I have been, I, I'm involved in, in some research studies uh, looking at some of the herbs and some of the natural uh, remedies <clears throat> for mainstream use. And he said, what we've found so far is that some of them are very, very effective, but um, they, they're unpredictable. So we can't rely on a dosage because one batch of herbs will have this much efficacy and then the next one will only have this much. And so we can't really tell patients we'll take this much mm -hmm. because we don't know what, what the effect is going to be. Like you're thinking with St. John's wort? Yeah, oh, okay. specifically with, you know, something like that. Mm -hmm. And so he said that that's been, that's the big drawback with a lot of the natural uh, kinds of things is that you, you can't really uh, rely on on a uh, consistency. And so um, the very next year they came out with CPTG. And ever since then, I just thought, you know, doTERRA is, they, they, they seem to be just right on it. Every time there are issues or something going on, they uh, they, they come out with something like that, that is just now, now every time I take uh, the product, I know that I'm getting the same dosage, I'm getting the same efficacy, it's consistent, it's reliable, and I know exactly what I'm getting. And so, yeah, so I just, I, I love that about the products. Yeah, it's pretty amazing, isn't it? I've, I've found the same thing, it's pretty amazing. It's, it's really interesting to have it be so, um, so reliable. And when we talk about, um, when people talk about the expense of it, I don't think they realize what they're getting and how, what a, what an incredible, um, not, I won't call it a bargain, but what an, an incredible product that they have where, where we're, we're looking co-impact forcing. So we're helping, are you there? Who are you talking to? You, Stacy. Oh, I'm here still. 
Oh, okay. I just think we lost Gil. That's all right. But um, so, so it's really interesting to see how that efficacy, you know, it, 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 that's why it's so amazing when I hear people say things like that. I don't think they understand how well, um, uh, what's the word I want, um, vetted the oils are, you know, how much testing they go through, like their eight separate tests, plus all of the pre-tests that also have gone on in order to create what they do. So, you know, not only do the oils have specific effects that we can, or outcomes that we can be sure of, but that they, they need this, this certain amount to be in each one of those oils in order to be that effective. And if they don't have that, then they're not going to be effective. And so that's the kind of research that's going on all the time in doTERRA, all the time to make sure that we have that consistency. I think that that is the hallmark of doTERRA and what drew me to doTERRA was I was looking for that kind of consistency. I was, I had already used other oils and they had all been pure and whatever kinds of purity and whether it was kind of homemade ones that were extremely pure that somebody was telling me were the best in the world or these ones that were the best in the world. But I, I wasn't finding the consistency. I was finding this one was pretty okay. Like I had to, I used cinnamon to clean a whole kitchen. That's a good thing to clean with, but there are better things. But the problem was that I couldn't find anything that was consistent enough that would do that. Now I can use lemon, but I couldn't use lemon oil before because it wasn't consistent enough. So I had to go for hotter oils for ones that were going to have kind of a broader range of capability to take care of cleaning um, out maybe any kind of molds or, or mildews or, or any kind of that stuff that was might be in those cupboards and old, you know, old wood formaldehyde stuff. So, you know, just trying to get it so that it's more, more uh, clean um, used to actually cost a lot more because I had to go through a lot more oils in order to get the same results. You know, and like for Stacy was talking about the Maluka, you know, we're cents on the dollar for how inexpensive it is to use Maluka for earaches. It's just pennies on the dollar to, to going someplace else and having that taken care of. Um, I One of the things I love is um, if I get too stressed, if I get under a lot of stress, <laughs> And we all know what our limits are. And they're kind of funny. We, I don't know why the body responds the way it does. But if I get to this one point, um, I will start getting swollen lymph nodes right here in my neck. And I know the minute that that happens, that I'm too far. That if I don't take care of that right then, then the next morning, I'm going to wake up not feeling well at all. And so I'll take, and I used to just use the Maluka in the bottle, which is great, but I'd always have to put something else with it, mostly coconut oil. And now I just use the roll on and stick it on my neck, which has the coconut oil already in it because it was too hot of an oil, but I just stick it on there, right on there and up behind on the mandibular ridge behind my ears. And I wake up fine. And if I need a little extra bump up, I'll use the oregano on my feet. And I'll do that, and I don't have to really think about it. I just I know it's gonna I know it's gonna be effective, and that's what's so amazing to me. It's just made me so much more calm in what I can do. And if by chance I don't have the oils that I would usually use, I can often figure out a way to make something else work, even if it's not doesn't have the same response like. I'll give you an example, maybe with peppermint, which really opens up the lungs versus eucalyptus, which also does. Well, maybe I don't have eucalyptus, but I have peppermint or vice versa. Well, I can use those and then I can add another pepperminty kind of thing like spearmint 
and help with to, to, to make that so that I get some of the same results. In fact, a lot of the same results. So I don't have to, if I'm, if I'm without my favorites, I can find that I can use the other ones, which I also love. I think that's amazing. What about you, Gil? Sorry, I, I made a mistake and got booted out of the meeting. Oh, no. Had to come back. No that's worries. That's okay. That's all right. Um, I, I probably need more education. Mm -hmm. um, I, I have <clears throat> a few go-to oils that I know and love and trust, mm -hmm. but I haven't um, really branched out a whole lot. Uh, mm -hmm. I really like the, the blends. One of the, um, when I first joined, one of the things I wished for was I wish they had more blends. And wow, they do now. <laughs> yeah. And that really helps. Yeah. Yes. I don't know enough to make my own kind of blends. Yeah, that's a really good point. And some people really like to make their own blends. So can you can you match them up with you, you kind of you kind of say, well, this is the what I'm dealing with and this blend is going to help me with that. And and then you, you don't have to worry about right. Yeah, mixing and matching. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's really I'm awesome. Obviously on guard and, and breathe have been around forever and those are the ones that I've used first but then um, as they've come out with more then that's I, I've used more. Yeah you know one of my favorite new ones is Yarrow Palm and I don't know if you've used that but I started reading about it and it has three or four things that are just really significantly good and they seem to be extremely good for me. And one of them is that it, it, it stimulates uh, collagen in the skin. And <clears throat> as we age, we tend to lose the collagen. And so we, we, our skin um, may become more translucent, but it doesn't have kind of the rejuvenating power that we get with fats under the, the skin. And so healing happens less frequently as well with less of that. And we have spots and usually the spots are associated with circulation difficulties and liver difficulties and, and but I've, I've been using um, the Yarrow Palm um, in a no, number of ways and it's been really great as far as an immune boost, a really quick immune boost. And I use that with just the drops and then I use, um, so there's a dropper and then, but I've just started using the Yarrow Palm um, basically as a moisturizer and it is the best one I think I've ever used. It's just remarkable. I can see, I literally can see the difference with my skin and I've tried so many things, so many things and my skin is very dry. It's always been on the extreme of dry. And so I, you know, I'm always like trying to get it moisturized and take extra things inside EFAs and different things so that I can get my skin to moisturize or collagen producers and all this stuff. It is by far the best thing I've ever used. And I've been doing it now consistently for about the last four months. Cause I wanna, I always like to make sure, right? So, um, and, and it's just, it's just absolutely remarkable for me. And I like, it's going, I, so I bought the little adaptive, I mean, not, excuse me, the, the um, girl palm kit. So I can take the internal so that it helps with that um, internal production of the collagen. And then I put it on my face and I put it on my neck. I'm a side sleeper and it's not a good idea to be a side sleeper because then you get all sorts of weird wrinkles. But I can't seem to tell my body not to do it in the middle of the night. It just ends up there. And so I'm like, okay, well, you know, but I'll, so I'll put that on my neck and I'll put it on my face. And, you know, when my face was younger, if I did it I, and I had a big ridge down my face, because, you know, if you're a side sleeper, you'll get ridges on your face. And I'll just put that yar palm on it and I'll just give it a little bit of a, you know, encouragement and it's gone. And it, it's, it's better than it was even when I was younger. It's still better than that. Very, very amazing how fast it, it, it works. Right. So. Cynthia, I just have to say that I've been doing the same thing. <laughs> yeah. I've been using it 
on my face every night. I also use like a couple drops of rosehip oil and yeah. then also yeah. I'll do that. And then I'll do, cause it's a little bit thinner than the, the yarrow palm is quite thick. Mm -hmm. Then I'll rub the, do, you know, a few drops of the yarrow palm all throughout my face and my neck. And I absolutely love it. And then if I feel like I need anything more, I'll just put a little bit of the hydrating cream over the top. But actually most often, all I need is a little bit of the rosehip oil and then the yarrow palm. I did that. And I, I loved it. How awesome. I haven't done, I've done the, the roll on rose. Do you have the regular bottle, the small bottle of rose? Or do it's you not rose oil, it's rose hip. Oh, okay. So it's rose, it's because it's got the vitamin C, you know, that people are saying is really good for the skin, the regeneration for the skin. So it's rose hip oil, not rose essential oil. Because okay. that's that stuff's really expensive, but yeah. Okay. Anyway, I have heard that the and like spots just disappear with that rose oil. I mean, just like well, yeah. I'll have to try it on my hands because I have a few spots. But it was kind of fun the other day. I was at the gym and I bumped into my son. He was leaving and I was coming arriving to the gym, and I was standing just so the light was shining right through the glass doors of the gym, and he kind of had his back and he goes, "Wow." mom, your skin looks so good. And I'm like, well, thank you. I'm working on that youthful glow, you know? <laughs> but anyway, I thought, well, it's kind of nice that he would compliment me at my age, you know, of having good skin, but I'm sure the Euro Palm has really helped. Well, I noticed Emily Wright talks a lot about it. She praises its virtues every single time now. Well, that's cool. When, so, when people notice it, that's, yeah, you, you know, know what's yeah, going on. Yeah, that's, well, and she also did talk about her Immortel too. And I use Immortel morning and night. So I love that one as well. You know, I, I know for some people that is the go-to, which is, it's really amazing. I use it actually for healing purposes. So if I can, if I don't have um, some of my other things, like I did it for this thumb right here, because it's a really good one to help regenerate because it's got the hypocrism in it and the and frankincense mm -hmm. anyway so so it's so nice to know like Gil was saying that you there are so many ways that you can utilize all these and i am so grateful that god's given these to us i'm just so grateful i mean sure there are a lot of other things i use also but they're all natural i don't have to ever cross over the line utilize other things well we are we are super grateful for you guys too it's been mm -hmm. it's been an amazing journey i was thinking as, as you were talking cynthia about uh how how long we've all been using these oils yeah. it's been it's been a while and it's been so fun to be on the journey with you guys mm -hmm. and uh great to the the ups and downs and the ins and outs but uh, mm -hmm. we've all been i just feel like we've all been so blessed yeah uh in our in our personal health and in our families, um, in the business, and uh, just grateful to to you yeah. for uh, being 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 on the journey with us. 